Welcome to my video. Today I am going to make sugar cookies, sour cream sugar cookies with frosting on top. It's always a good time for cookies. Doesn't have to just be for holidays. I make cookies all year round because I love cookies, all cookies. I like to make all kinds of cookies. Okay, so let's get started making our sour cream sugar cookies. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Now, let me show you what you're gonna need for these. Ta-da! There you go. This is it. So for your dry ingredients, cups of flour in this little bowl is a pinch of salt, um, a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then for wet ingredients, you will need a cup of sour cream, two eggs, room temperature. You're gonna need a cup of butter, room temperature, which is two sticks. And this is one and a half cups of sugar, and you are going to need vanilla. Now, let's talk about vanilla real quick. Okay, so I know a lot of you do not like or bake with imitation vanilla. Um, I do both, real imitation. Um, this is just what I have for now. So when this bottle is done, I will go buy some more vanilla and it will not be imitation, so. But there is nothing wrong with imitation vanilla. This is from Dollar General. Okay, let's make some cookies. Okay, so first we're gonna do our wet ingredients. You can use a hand mixer, you can use a stand mixer, whatever you want. I'm gonna use my stand mixer and you are going to put in one cup of butter, which is two sticks and you want it softened. And these have been sitting out on my counter like all day long. Oops, because it's kind of cool outside, they kind of just didn't get as soft as I wanted. So I did pop them in the microwave for like 15 seconds. So now they're perfect, so. Let's get this butter in and we are gonna beat it until it is light and fluffy. Okay, I wonder if I can make this in the bowl just by looking in the camera. Let's see. Almost, I'm making a mess. Let's get our second one in. You know I gotta try to get this in too without looking. Okay, you ready? Okay, don't do that. Okay, got the butter in. Now we're just gonna mix it until it is light and fluffy. I always do this. I never have this thing plugged in. Let's try this again. Now let's get it mixing. Now that we've got that mixed up, you are going to add in one and one half cups of sugar. Just like that. Now this you want to be for two minutes. Now it is done beating, it beat for two minutes. You wanna make sure and do it for two minutes. And it's going to look like this. See in here, it's like, light and fluffy that is what you want to look just like that it smells good so now you're going to want to add your eggs you need two eggs we're going to do one at a time you're going to add in your eggs and you're going to add in your vanilla so let's do that one at a time uno okay I said one at a time and I'm doing both. Oh well. Leave it up to me to make a mess in the kitchen. Let's mix this up. How nice and fluffy that got. Look at that. Okay, now it's time to add in the vanilla. Almost looks like ice cream. Do you see that? Mm. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna add in the dry ingredients with the sour cream, but you're gonna do it alternately and you wanna end with the flour. Ooh, that's a pretty batter, isn't it? that's good look at that look at that so in the recipe they roll it out with the rolling pin and then they get a um, 
um, cookie cutter and they do round cutouts of these that drop them onto the cookie sheet or I might just roll them into balls and put them down and then kind of flatten them that's probably what I'll do so okay now we have everything mixed up it's good to go you know don't hate me for this last part because I don't like it either but this has to get refrigerated now in the recipe it says overnight or two hours I'm not leaving anything in overnight and I'm not leaving anything in for two hours. I will leave this in for an hour. That is all I can do. I am very impatient and I want some sugar cookies. Look how pretty this is. And it is really good. Okay, now I will see you back in one hour. Okay, now it has been an hour and here is the dough and it's, it's set, which is what you want. So I am just going to get out a tablespoon out or a tablespoon and a half like this. I'm just this is about a tablespoon and I'm just gonna roll it into a ball quickly because this is a sticky dough and they do spread so you want to um, put them a couple inches apart so real fast oops I'm just gonna start doing this That is it. Now, while you wait for these to get done, you might want to put your dough back in the fridge. They are a little sticky, so just let me show you what I'm going to do real quick. I'm just going to put a Ziploc bag over it. You don't have to use a Ziploc bag. You can use saran wrap, wax paper. Wax paper would probably be the best. So it just flattens it out. That is it. So now they go into a 350 degree oven until they start to turn brown on the outside and then you wanna take them out because you don't wanna over bake them. Once you take them out, they're gonna to continue to bake. So as soon as they start to get a little golden brown, get those bad boys out. They're out of the oven and they were in there for about six minutes. And as you can see, they were starting to turn around the edges and they're just, just soft to the touch, perfect. So now I'm gonna take them off and we're gonna let them cool and then frost them. Okay, it's missing one thing. Yes, ma'am, some sprinkles. taste this cookie that is so pretty in the middle look at that okay let's taste I'm telling you the sour cream in this makes it this makes it you don't have to put frosting on top it just makes it all the better and these are delicious I hope you go make these I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to Give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I would love to have you here.